Offensive lineman in the sport. He's also one of the best dudes. This man has at least five sacks in six consecutive seasons. He leads the Titans in sacks this year and is also a standout in that community. A 2018 Walter Payton Man of the Year nominee. Please welcome to the show Titans defensive tackle Jarrell Casey. Hey, what's up, Jarrell? What's up, what's up, what's up? How y'all doing this morning? We're doing awesome. Drill, it's the second time you're the Walter Payton Man of the Year nominee from the Titans. You're a five-time captain, a three-time Pro Bowler. But where do these Walter Payton nominations rank among your career accolades, and how important is that to you? Um, honestly, it's, it's number one, man. Honestly, everything I do is for the community, for, you know, leaving a legacy in this, in this um, industry and just really – really trying to let the people know what me and my family is about and really it's the highest thing that can really be honored and I'm definitely a blessing and definitely honored to represent the Titans in this fashion and to represent my family in this fashion also so definitely give thanks to the Lord for putting me in this position and just really putting it on my heart putting it on my mind to go out there and get to the community and that, that's why I work so hard to be able to do that. Jarrell, and you deserve this honor looking at what you do with not even just one organization, but two that are near and dear to your heart. The Casey Fund Project Return. Tell us about those and why they're so important to you. Um, the Casey Fund actually was started with, by me and my wife. Um, we wanted to give back to the community something that we thought about when we was just dating. Something that we was like, man, we need to get more involved. We need to do a little bit more. And it really just started with me and her. The both fields that we both wanted to get interested in was one with her and her law degree was to get in touch with people that was incarcerated. You know, help them get back into society, help them get, get embraced with the world. And then also, you know, with the youth, me growing up, I'm really not, not, not the brightest person where I would say, you know, I'm, I'm very bright, bright, intelligent guy now. I didn't build myself to be so. But growing up, it was hard for me going through, going through school. It was very d t uh, tough, difficult. I didn't have resources to, you know, build up my, my knowledge as, as I should have. But I had great people around me to push me and have role models. And that's something that I think, you know, a lot of people need it and a lot of people should have. And that's one, one reason why we wanted to reach the people that was um, the youth. And that's why we wanted to do that. And then the reason we touched with Project Return, we wanted to partner with, with them, was that, you know, they reached out to us, actually. And they, they said, you know, they heard our story with my brother and heard everything that was going on. And Betty reached out. And she was like, you know, I heard your story. You're doing great things. I want you to come check out our facility. Went over there, checked everything out, and loved what I saw. Loved everything they were doing in the community. Loved what they were doing with the people and everything that they offered for the people. And I just wanted to be part of that, something that I thought was very important. So me and my wife, we decided to partner with them. And for the last couple of years, we've been doing great work with them. Hey, Jarrell, um, I see you. So you're no nominated for Walter Payton uh, Man of the Year. And uh, I want to stick with the running back position because you got a guy on the other side of football, Derrick Henry, who balled out against the Jacksonville Jaguars. And, and what what is that like to watch that in person? And then also, where is this team mentally uh, when you guys are still trying to make a push to the playoffs? Unbelievable to see that happen, man. You know, we've been waiting for that all year. And, you know, he definitely been running hard, definitely been pounding. But Harry, he's been, he been excellent, man. And for him to be able to have that breakout game and show he got that skill, got the ability to go out there and make those type of plays happen, it was exciting for me to go watch. It made me want to go play a little more. And, you know, I, he told me before the game that he was going to do it. So I was just waiting for it. And, you know, when he started doing it, he came to me through midway through the game and said, bro, I told you. I got it. I, got, I told you, man, I'm going to do this. And, you know, it, it just juiced me, man to see him, you know, go out there, he spoke into existence, and he made it happen. And, you know, for a defensive player to see that happen, man, he just keep y'all more rallied. And you can see what we was doing out there all day long, putting out a show. And, you know, we just need that from him here on out. You know, it's a big playoff run we're trying to push. And, you know, his running, we're gonna, he's going to put us on his back, and he's going to make sure it happens. So we ready, we ready for it, definitely. Mm. Jarrell, you're definitely going to be one of the most exciting teams to watch down the stretch. I I'm going to shoot you straight here. You know how at the grocery store, there's the Captain Crunch cereal, but then there's also down on the bottom, there's like the Colonel Crackle that's like the same thing, but a little bit different. It's kind of a knockoff. Yeah, I feel like you guys, sometimes we get the Titans, all right? The Titans are great. They, can beat, they beat the Patriots. They beat the Cowboys. They can beat anybody. But then sometimes we get the Tritons down on the bottom shelf who probably lose to some teams that they should beat. So how do we reconcile this down the stretch? Is it going to be the Titans or is it going to be the Tritons? <laughs> Here we go. Bro, you know what? I can't even predict that, bro. But at the end of the day, uh, we're going to make sure we do what we got to do, taking it one game at a time. Uh, my wife loves you. She talk about you all the time. 
just want to say hello. Um, but, <laughs> but at the end of the day, man, what are you talking about? What do you mean? What are you talking about? Is your wife watching the show? No, no, I don't know if she's watching it right now or not, but I, but she'll talk about how you talk about the Titans and the Tritons. And it's, it's pretty impressive to hear you talk about it right now. Uh, <laughs> it was just that you talked about before I came on. It's pretty, pretty cool. But uh, actually, I really, don't, I really don't know what was going to pop off. But at the end of the day, man, I am know we're going to come up and show, show out and perform. And, you know, with the cars layout out there, it's going to lay out. But I know we, we're ready to go. We, we're mentally sound. We're mentally um, focused right now. Um, guys are showing up and ready to go. And at the end of the day, all we can do is go out there and perform. Um, I know we locked in, so y'all going to have to tune in and get ready for a show. We ain't letting down. We know we'll push we got to do. Everybody's mind in the right direction. So, hey, get ready for a show, baby. That's all I can say. I love it, Jarrell, and I think that's a good segue to my next question because we're here in New York. The Giants are this national team. Everyone coast-to-coast coast loves the Giants. Titans are in a market, Nashville, that maybe doesn't have the same national presence. A lot of people are taking the Giants on the road against the Titans this weekend thinking they've won four or five games. They've got Saquon Barkley. What is your response, and what's the feeling in that locker room about everyone picking the Giants this week over the Titans? It's something that happened all year long. You know, everybody put us as the underdogs. Everybody, you know, doubt us. And we, we, we're used to it. It's, it's part of it. You know, we can't blame nobody but ourselves at the end of the day. You know, we, we do great things, but at the end of the day, we go and we, we, lay an egg, we lay an egg. And at the end of the day, it's up for us to go out there and prove these people wrong. And in every big game so far, we have done so, I believe so. And, you know, at the, at the end of the day, it's up for us to go out there and make sure we prove it, though. You know, we can't talk about it. We got to be about it. And that's, that's always been my mindset, always been my motive. Man, if I don't care about answering too many of these questions about what people think about that, my thing is out there, let's go out there and perform. I can't really give you an answer about that, man. Like, the honest answer is, man, we got to go out there and perform. And that's the only thing I can really say Love is, it. man, everybody got to show up and go get the job done. That's the only I, way you can answer. We're hiding right baby. now. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. go. All right, now, hold on. Before you go, though, <laughs> listen, we would all love to meet your wife, Ryan, of course. We <gasps> love her. I'm sure you would. And have. maybe all of us will meet her in Atlanta. If you guys are going to be there, we're going to be there. There's a Super Bowl being played oh, there. But hold on, Jerome. Definitely. You guys gave birth to a baby boy, Nolan, earlier this year. My Congratulations. Young man, Nolan. Aww, Look at Nolan. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate oh, it. We know appreciate the feeling. It. There's a few yes. parents here. Jarrell, tell us about Nolan and how's Nolan changed your life? Man, it's amazing, man. He's a blessing. He's definitely a, a blessing in disguise. Um, me and my wife, we talked about having a child later down in the line, um, but I kind of rushed and jumped the gun and uh, made it happen a little bit sooner. And uh, definitely, definitely glad that it happened. Um, he's definitely developing very well. As everybody knows, we had him a little bit early, so he came out a little premature. Yeah. So he's definitely growing, and as you see, he's healthy. Um, he's big. Um, he came out a little bigger than normal, so that was a great blessing. And he's just developing perfectly fine, and he's developing every uh, milestone that we can um, expect, laughing, smiling. Um, talk, you can talk to him, responding. So it's definitely a blessing. And, you know, my wife, to have her there and have her support through this whole thing with the whole football deal and me not being able to be there all day long with her. And she's handling it like a trooper. And I'm, I'm definitely glad the Lord pit me with a strong woman that can handle this whole situation. And, you know, when offseason comes, I'm definitely going to hope I can be there full, full throttle with her and give her the full support she needs with the little man. Who's better than Drew The best. And the pressure is off. He got the boy first, man. Uh, it? it didn't work out like Talk that. Talk about it. I had the girl hey, first. Man, I was, that was nervous that was for that second one. Right there. That, was the, that was the world right there, man. Getting the boy first. That was everything. <laughs> You guys are the worst. That's facts. Jarrell, you're love the, my daughter. You're the absolute Appreciate man. it. Appreciate love it. You. We love having you on the show. Keep it going and go get the Giants. Thank y'all. Yeah, have a great Walter morning Payton and a blessed day. Year nominee. Jarrell yeah, Casey. Awesome stuff, Jarrell. Oh, I love having Thank you guys you. pop by the show. We might have another one a little bit later. Stay tuned for that. Kyle, you also sit down with Muse. You also have a show tonight, and you were in the Jets locker room? Yes. It's going to be really funny. 6 p.m. tonight, mm -hmm. Eastern, right here on the network. <laughs> Kyle Brand Football Experience. We have fun always talking about all the games. I was in the Jets locker room, and I asked a bunch of the Jets players, what was your favorite Christmas gift that you got as a kid? Every single guy, Xbox, Xbox, Xbox. They all said it. Probably 15 guys in a row said Xbox. Yeah. I get to Josh McCown, he goes, I think it was when I got my first Walkman. <laughs> I was like, that? Walkman? Not Discman, Walkman. I go, what tape do you think was in that Walkman? He goes, I know what it was. It was We Didn't Start the Fire by Billy Joel. Yeah. I played it over and over. Harry Truman, Doris Day. And then I ask him, how would you explain to Sam Donald what a Walkman is? Just get in. It's like, well, there's this box. Uh, and you put a tape in it, and it was a disaster. But it's a whole thing that he does about all the new and technology. Really fun on the show tonight. Oh, Donald knows God. what a tape is? No, I think it's like that's in the training room. You or tape Taking like a pencil to like Cassette wind tape. it. Ooh. 
I don't. <laughs> but that's all on the show tonight. There's a lot more. It's going to be really fun. Walkman talk. Walkman talk.